For the past two years, Jeffree Star has really taken a step back from the internet drama and has mainly kept to himself. He moved out of LA, he stopped posting on YouTube, and his main focus shifted to his yaks and his yak meat business. But all of that changed this week. As we all know, Jeffree announced his return to reviewing makeup after all the drama with the fake eyelashes and the fraudulent reviews. Oh, I definitely have been hearing you loud and clear this week. You've woken up the fucking beast and I'll be reviewing makeup starting again next week. It sounds like he's not only returning to makeup, but also returning to the drama, but not beauty community drama. He somehow managed to stir up drama in literally the last place I would expect Jeffree Star to be involved in. He tweeted, Goodbye LA, time to spend time with my hashtag NFL boo in Wyoming. And this tweet really took people by surprise, but also had people questioning if he was even telling the truth. I think we're only like a few weeks away from the Super Bowl and everyone was like, well, if he was actually in the NFL, he wouldn't be on a plane to Wyoming. He would be training. But right away, the internet detectives got to work trying to figure out who this was from this one singular photo. One person tweeted, I'm bored at work, so the spot is a mark from an IV, so he's likely a starter. It's on his right hand. That, plus his legs being crossed to the left, I'd guess he's left-handed. The leg hair is very light. He's probably blonde or ginger. Jeffree Star is six foot and size 11 shoe, so I would guess he's slightly taller and has a bigger foot, 6'1 to 6'3. And since that is a Vans range, the largest size is a 13M. I would guess it's a 12, but don't quote me on that. Let me dig into the height, hang on. Like people were really taking this super seriously and they were doing some serious detective work to try and figure out who this was. Jeffrey ended up tweeting again and playing into everyone's speculation by showing us a better look of who this might actually be. He wrote, he didn't make it to the hashtag Super Bowl, but he's 6'6 and plays perfect in the bedroom. So now the internet had a clear picture of his height, his hair, and his ears, and they got to work. TikTok was literally filled with people going through the NFL player roster and throwing random names out there of who they think it may be. On the topic of Jeffree Star's mystery NFL boo, people are saying that Cliff Kingsbury's still in Thailand with his supermodel gorgeous girlfriend, so that eliminates him. For a minute, it was looking like it could be John Elway, but his wrists are way too meaty. Justin Herbert also ruled out because the tree of veins on his hand didn't align. It really just leaves us with a few interesting names. Carl Nassib, Tim Tebow, Sean McVay, or the GOAT himself, Thomas Brady. And all of this speculation actually caused some drama with the wives of these NFL players. People were going around digging and whenever a name would be thrown out there, not only would the players' comments be filled with people talking about Jeffrey, but the wives also started to be contacted too. I guess it got to be a bit too much for the wives because one of them actually reached out to Jeffrey and he shared the screenshot to his Instagram. I'm getting harassed because my husband is in the NFL and people think it's him, please stop. And Jeffrey wrote over the screenshot, NFL wife of a Panthers player attacking me. Don't be so insecure. I don't mess with married men. Now look, personally, I don't think it was that serious for that DM to be shared. She didn't sound insecure or like she was accusing Jeffrey of anything. It was more like, hey, your vague tweets are sending everyone on a hunt to find this man and everyone thinks it's my man and it's not. So maybe could you clear that up? I don't think she had a massive Instagram following either. So I'm sure she's not used to that much attention and comments. So it might've been a bit too much. It looks like I'm not the only one with that opinion because all the replies under this post are people saying things like, I don't think she's insecure. I think she's being harassed. Damn, I love you, Jeffrey, but why would you put her on blast like that? She came up to you in private and you should too. She literally asked you nicely. I don't understand why you're starting drama. But Jeffrey went on to post a video to Instagram talking about the whole situation with the NFL wives. How come people want to play with fire and then when you light the match with them, they disappear? Um, Miss Thing deleted her social media. I'm like, girl, don't be insecure about your marriage. I'm not a shady. Um, you're not married, are you? No. <laughs> do not say anything. You're going to record your voice and do voice recordings like FBI agents. Um, 23 is all about a little bit of privacy, but also living your life to the fullest. That's what the pandemic taught me. Like, 
live every day like it's my last, do everything I want to do. Um, I started a ranch. Like, I did everything I want to do since day one. No f given, no apologies. And I've always just fully been myself. And I'm always going to be that. So I'm going to continue to stick, make lipstick and live my life, girl. Thank you. I really think that Jeffrey knew that the NFL was being talked about a lot. The Super Bowl is just around the corner, and he knew this would be a great way to cause a little bit of drama without the drama being too serious. We all saw this happen last time with the basketball player, and people found that out in like two seconds. And so far, there hasn't been any definitive answer, and it's all just speculation. Another NFL wife commented on a post of a list of people, and she denied her husband was the man Jeffrey was with. She wrote, Since apparently my husband's name is on this list of guesses, I'll go ahead and let y'all know Ethan is married with children and has been with us the entire offseason. But I'm here in the comment section to see who these FBI agents think the player is. And Jeffrey actually responded to her and said, Oh my god, hi Heather. I am so sorry people are assuming it's your husband. I hope you guys are chuckling through. So a little bit nicer than the last interaction, but it seems like the NFL is going to be a theme this week for Jeffrey. He's now involved himself in another situation with an NFL player. Tom Brady was one of the people that everyone was guessing, which by the way, it isn't. But today he announced his retirement from the NFL. I'm retiring for good. I know the process uh, was a pretty big deal last time, so when I woke up this morning, I figured I'd just press record and let you guys know first, so. And Jeffrey decided to jump in and poke fun at all the comments who were guessing it was him. He wrote, this is not my fault. Repeat, this is not my fault. I've never met Tom, but congratulations on retirement. Wyoming is a good place to retire. So yeah. Clearly, Jeffrey is on a little bit of an NFL kick right now, and I guess it's working out because my entire For You page has been people trying to guess who this man is. I actually saw one person with this theory that it might actually not be an NFL player because if it was, the internet probably would have found out who it is by now. It makes me a little suspicious if he's actually a player because get this, if it really was a player for the NFL and Jeffrey was like, I'm dating an NFL player, people would guess it like that. They would go through the rosters. It'd be so quick because of the hair, right? That dude's swoop, it wouldn't be hard to find. So I'm thinking it's probably like a strengthening coach or like a dietitian, someone who works for an NFL team and is on the staff so he can still say, uh, his team didn't go to the Super Bowl and people think it's an NFL player, but it's really possibly one of the staff or someone who works for the team because they still call that their team because it is their team. They might not play on the field, but they contribute to the team's wins and losses. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Do you think it's actually an NFL player? Or do you think Jeffrey is just trying to cause drama in a way that he sees as harmless, knowing everyone is talking about the Super Bowl right now? Let me know and I'll see you next time.